And we're live. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right myself. Uh, we're going to be doing a little Killer 7. Probably see how long this chapter goes, because the last time I streamed this, the, the uh, chapter we went through was a little longer than I rem last remember. And something else I also don't remember is the exact... Right. So we had just, uh, yeah, we had beaten uh, this guy who looks like Sean Connery in a 70s weird outfit. And he apparently had some kind of connection with Dan Smith. So that was interesting. So now we're on, the, on number four. Yeah, we had some weird boss fights the last time. Had, had one with, the, with uh, one of them weird looking anime heads. Ooh, new moon. God damn, these calls are invasive. It's like when I was trying to apply for health insurance. <laughs> Garcia's probably like, God damn it. These invasive calls, they keep interrupting my breakfast. All right, please just be merciful with the Harmon's room. Ooh, anime cutscene. Oh, God. Oh, that felt good. Talk about relieving stress. Hey, you. What are you staring at? <laughs> oh, I get it. You want to take a look. Right? Please don't. <laughs> Why? What? Does it turn you on? Hmm? Does it? Hey, will you stop staring? <clears throat> Jeez, what a pervert. What is the deal with Garcian and, 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 and Harmon and all this? Wait. <gasps> Am I going to get to fight Power Rangers? Man, this is catchy. Aw, oh, damn it, my he interrupted my shows. The Democratic Party has been assassinated during today's Congress session. The assassins appear to be wearing costumes resembling the comic book characters, the handsome men. Oh, jeez. Huh. Political assassination by way of Sentai superheroes. All right. Really? No, no segment of talking to Harmon. Huh. Interesting. Can I interact with the door? No? Cool? Just it's gonna sound like a Bloodborne room? Sure. It sounds like it's a Bloodborne segment. Like just having that screaming behind the door. I have to wonder what Garcian's rent is. Like what's the rent to be able to live on a mobile home in a trailer house like that? Or in a, on a lot like that in a trailer house? Who are they? You never heard of them? That mysterious group of guys who call themselves the handsome men? I've heard that they're designed by the military to counter the heaven smiles. But hey, funny, hey, Combo, we're like we're you. apparently gonna fight Power Rangers. ZTT Comics. Ever heard of them? Or more like a comic team. The hype about this comic is that the story seems to cross over with the real world. What's that got to do with Thunderson's assassination? It's so weird to see anime. This is full. Okay. Warned about the assassination before it actually happened, and 27 minutes afterwards, a new story about Thunderson's assassination was updated in the online game. Who's the architect behind this? Well, I know for sure that the. It's weird to see anime cutscenes here when we had so many different cutscene types before. Over whatever character rights they can get a hold of. Not only that. They're spoiling the creative interest of that industry. So those bastards are the targets? 
Actually, the target is the comic book writer, Trevor Pearl Harbor. He's got a place down in the Dominican Republic where he does his thing. Now, sometimes you uh, have to take the strong arm approach. Got it. Oh, and before I forget. <laughs> look, the latest issue was released today. Last week it ended with Thunderson's assassination. Now, according to the last issue. So we've got comic books that are apparently predicting the future. Our master. He's turned into a monster. Hey, wait a sec. This means that the next target is going to be this this is just the beginning. Yeah, it seems like this is um this this is the start of the chapter and seems like the Super Sentai assassin group is going to be attacking the Smith Syndicate. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, that's um that's going to be this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, an interesting little level. But yeah, it's we there have been a lot of varieties of animated cutscenes here, which I have to say I'm I'm both impressed by and weirded out from because it's like the chapter three cutscene. No. Was it three or two? No, I'm I'm forgetting. The one with the the dude with the uh the cult town. He was all th those were looked more like an MTV animated series. One before that looked anime, but of a different style than this looked anime, but about as early 2000s as you could get. Probably around Black Lagoon. Although, if I'm being honest, and if an anime series were ever made of a Suda51 game, this or No More Heroes would be a beautiful hit. Okay, so Iwazaru, what have you got? Master, this is it. Yes, this. The sight I yearned for. So much, oh, so much awaited at R and R. We must not let our guard down. But we must not let our guard down. The enemy has footholds even here. The terror has gripped the world. Heaven's smile has reached calamity status. You must stay vigilant in the name of Harmon. So it seems like some kind of counteractive force was made in like a comic book that um that was meant to be fictional and like oh cool you know this fictional thing but then it started predicting the future or someone started imitating the comic best way i can put it simpsons yeah yeah kind of a simpsons moment thank you sir how you making out <laughs> i'm getting by hey here's something extra are those flakes of gold? A uh, song for travelers. This is a lost city. You must find the key. For your tranquility deep within. Ooh. Guide to your soul, find your place. Then you'll find your way. And if I don't, <laughs> the darkness will swallow you. And you'll become a resident of the City of Smiles, where eternal darkness rules all. There's a specific gone. Sing me that song, will ya? It's interest. <laughs> Yuzaru, Master, this is it. Look what I found. I stole it from the defeated female off female office drone. Of course, she'd rather have me steal her. Use it at the artist's mansion. The mask is hot, hot, I tell you. In the name of Harmon. Obtained color samples, okay. Ooh, I like the atmosphere. This is a nice track I hear. This is too easy. What's here? Barrels, Harmon's room. I need to do the Harmon room thing. 
and I'd like to save. But first, I want to see what other smiths are available. Don't make me say it. Wait here. Yeah, destiny. Oh, he keeps all the upgrades we got from the uh, from the amusement park. Cool. All right, I'm gonna save. And kegs are perfect for building up strength. I think I may have an idea about who I'm supposed to bring up. Man, Mask the Smith seems... If, if I'm correct on this, Mask really is popular. All right. Yep, I was correct. Master, these. Please collect these. The creator's soul lies in here. The artist came up with a very solid lock. To break it, you must need these. You'll need these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. I'll go ahead and begin searching. Leave it to me just this once. I'm the hero this time. In the name of Harmon. Looks like, um... Oh god, what were, the, what were the name of those things? There's a specific, uh... There's a specific toy, I remember. It was like a building toy of some kind, where they were flat plastic. They're, it was like flat-tastic. <laughs> Or flat plastic, flat plastic, and essentially, what it um what they were was just that you built things with these flat plastic plates or chips or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't remember the name of them. I just remember seeing them sometimes in play areas. All right, I want to fully explore that last area I was just in. <laughs> and there's the map. So I'm... So that's where I came from, so I'm at this L intersection. Okay, so that alleyway leads to something different. So let's go here. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm around here, save rooms to my left. Okay, so no other avenues, just gonna check that alleyway that I was just down. Just wanna make sure I have my bases covered. Wait, can't you change your smiths in the menu like the chatter mentioned? Yes, I can. I just don't know if, I just don't know when I'm gonna need to change smiths out. So I'm gonna keep with mask for now, unless... I run into an enemy that Mask can't kill on his own. Master, this is it. Look at what I found. I found their motherboard. Now, they, now their PC building stream is not gonna work. You don't need the TV? No, I do not, apparently. I use it at the artist's mansion. What's that? Oh, this? It's called a lost city. Go this way and that, but you're bound to end up where you started. Find your way using sound. This is just a job for the punk. In the name of Harmon. Punk. I'm gonna assume that that means coyote. Or no, con. Yeah, I didn't, I don't need the TV and it doesn't cost me any resources to do a quick swap like that. So, my understanding of it was that when I have the pause screen on and it shows which Dan's are, or which Smiths are highlighted, I thought that that meant, you know, those are the Smiths that are available for this level and this level only. I did not realize that it meant, hey, you can change out to these any time without the TV. I did not know that. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was an oopsie. Seeing a sound wave of some kind. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, what the hell? Heal up a little bit. So follow sound, huh? <laughs> Gotta go this way. The song that guy wrote for you. Yeah, I can hear it. It's it's really catchy. I, I'd say so far the music in this is very ambient and weird, and I really like it. Okay, it's this way. Okay, that snuck up on me a little bit. So I'm guessing for some reason Khan can just sense sound waves or something. Okay, we made it through. Sweet, solved it. Okay, we've got ourselves a rotator smile. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, that looks like a lot of enemies. Uh, what's... Do I have the map here? Okay, where am I? Okay, so I'm gonna need Kaede... And coyote. Well, all right. Strange flame, indeed. Uh, I'm gonna assume windring. No. How about water ring? Okay. Then how about the? Firing? Nope, just... All right. Yeah, hopefully I run into a TV soon so I can sw at the very least wake up Kaede and Coyote. Because looks like I'm going to need them for, the, uh, for those segments. Reload so damn fast. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right, Iwazaru. Master, this is it. Look at what I found. A stagnating youth t held on to this for dear life. One really must live for the moment. Use it at the art artist's mansion. Barefoot is ready and raring to go. In the name of Harmon. Okay, yeah, so I am gonna need Coyote and Kaede. I just need to wake them up. Is there a Harmon room I can go to? Damn it. Okay, so Kaede for that. 
only problem is I don't have a way to swap out the smiths. Well, I need to... I need to get Kaede, but I don't have the... Ah, here we go. Just what I needed. All right, I'm gonna take some blood in. All right, so I'm gonna get Kaede out first. Actually, maybe I should get Coyote. Wake up. And then... Wake up. Oh! Oh, okay. So it's literally... Alright, so I... Fuck it. Okay, so I've got a... I've got to wait on a bit. Alright. I'm gonna give her more power. And then select, change to Kaede. Yeah, let's see how this goes. This doesn't. Doesn't it? Oh, that's useful. Oh, that's a good that that good skill. Hurts, doesn't it? Holy shit! Yeah, I should use her more often. Cause that's night. I should have used her in that boss fight with the two brains guys, huh? I'm a ghost. Yeah, I don't understand the logic of her power. Snipes are great. Yeah, I love. Sometimes, I understand a lot of times with games, you want to be in on the action, like super high octane and be super, like, in everything. But you gotta admit, something about being a sniper just works. Something about being a sniper is just the most satisfying thing ever. It's what I usually did in Far Cry games back when I played those. What's the design of the studio? The editors can't even get near it. Talk about putting on airs. He needs to know this place. He needs to know his place. If you want to get into Trevor's studio, I'll tell you straight up. You've got to collect color samples. With a fancy selection of hues. The door contraption will open. The chief keeps a leech, right? He'd be perfect for the job. Just the guy for running, just the guy for running errands. Okay. So Harmon room. I need to kill a few more Heaven Smiles before I can uh, bring Coyote out. But yeah, it's, it's also part of the reason why the Skyrim sneaky archer build is so huge for some. It's because... Did I just... I just went back into that spot. Oops. Okay, I went backwards. Because it's like... You know, yeah, you got these mechanics and everything of different builds that you can do in Skyrim, but the Sneaky Archer build, along with just having a silent sniper rifle, if we're talking FPSs, they're just so good. They're, they're just really good. Hmm. What's... All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pop these guys. Damn it. Yeah, only downside is that her rate of fire is a little slow. <laughs> Come on. There we go. No, not tile screen. I keep forgetting it's this button. Okay, so I'm there. 
And then coyotes needed past there. I just wonder what the puzzle with the flame is meant to be for. Like, what's the fire for the puzzle meant to be? I'm a little confused there, because it's not like I can... Alright, Coyote, you wake up. I'm going to select you. Ooh, I like his shirt. I do like that the characters change wardrobe uh, between levels. That's, that's, that's nice. I like that little detail. this because it seems to need to interact with something I just don't know for what purpose someone who's really good at running errands and stuff hmm I mean yeah I'm gonna try con Smith but I don't think that's the right call I mean we'll see <laughs> Fuck you. Because, I mean, all his special stuff is is getting to run really fast. And none of the rings I had equipped Fuck did you. anything, so... Huh. <laughs> Fuck you. Yep, okay, nothing. Hmm. And none of the rings I have on even interact with this, so yeah, looks like it's look at looks like it's all just going forward here. What's the map here? Okay, left. What do we, don't seem to have anything in the left. <laughs> Fuck you. There we go. Iwazaru? Master. This is it. Look at what I found. Discarded by a, by bickering lovers. Love can shatter like glass. Use it at the rock artist's mansion. This is a job for the thief. In the name of Harmon. Okay, so yeah, coyote time. God, that's so convenient. I wish I knew about that during the, uh, the Almeida level, because... Man, it would have been nice to finally figure out what was behind that door of the uh, place I went to before. Oh my god, no, not... Seems to be an auto-lock. Okay, so... Uh, where am I? I am... I wish I had a better pointer on the map to where I am. Okay, I went down, and then I went down those. So this way. Right? I think... I think that's right. Right? 
Okay, so this was likely a shortcut. <laughs> yes, shortcut. You're fucked. I was right, it was a shortcut. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You're fucked. You're fucked. All right, well, that was done. This is an entirely different space. What was the other area I needed Coyote for? Okay, so I got that shortcut. So I need to head right. You're fucked. You're fucked. Okay. Ah, shit. No, it was this way. Okay, and it was here. Yep. Okay, this is probably another Travis hint, right? Yep, sure enough. Straight up, this is a pain. This is a pain, man? Running around for some frickin' color samples? What makes it worse? This town is a mess. That's what makes it worse. Have you heard about the devil's shortcut? Word on the street is that next to the door to the artist's house is the entrance to a labyrinth. Light the lamp and the shortcut is revealed. Isn't that spooky enough for you, to, for you chief? Would you light the lamp? So something is supposed to be done with the lamp, but I don't know. So the lamp's lit. Wait, is the lamp lit because I solved the maze? I think that's it. All right, I'll, all right, cool, I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Oops. Should've just done that from the start. <laughs> yeah, that could've gone better. Master, this is it. Look at what I found. I got this from a nun. She had quite a rack, I must say. A kid left it behind after a confession. Personally, Master is my only god. Use it at the artist's mansion. That's really not the kind of sentence you would ever... Those are two words you ever... Don't really ever want to hear next to each other. You know, I, I got it from this nurse. She had a great rack. That just feels... that just feels wrong. <laughs> fucked. 
My leg. Yeah, the my leg sound. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I can hear Ricky barking. I need to go let him in real, real quick. I'll be right back. Never mind, my brother got him. I'm good. We're we're good now. Let's just get back on now. Okay. So this is the altar. Okay. So I need a fire ring. Right? Or I need a firing under the altar, but there's a save room here, and I want to save. Or deposit the deposit the blub. Deposit the blub 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 blub. Wow, that was a word vomit. Look at all that ice upgrade material. Please don't break down, machine. I don't want you to break down again. All right, save there. Now, what I also want to do. Jeez, you still up? Shit. Um. Yeah. Let's, Destiny. let's give masks some stuff. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so the smiths are getting pretty decked out as far as power. <laughs> Anything else down this hallway? No. All right, let's go. What's this way? This is... Oh, I already had the firing on. Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the labyrinth. Oh, well then what's up here? <laughs> Upper level of the church. Zaru, do you ever do any inv investing or just not touch that at all? Um, discovered by a flustered assistant director. He clashed violently with the real director. Differences of nuance can destroy relationships. Use it at the artist mansion. In the name of Harmon. Uh, so fun story. I actually had, well, more like my parents had had put a, um, a bit of money into a low-risk, low-reward investment thing for me so that I had money for college. Which, like, that's awesome, you know? It's, it's cool that they did that, and it did lead to me being able to afford a college a lot more easily compared to most of my peers. But, how do I put this? Um, when events started to go down within the economy, Oh, hello. 
I'll explain. I'll, I'll go further in a second. I want to see this cutscene. Sometimes it hides in it. Sometimes it engulfs us, keeping us warm. Other times it desiccates us with absolute unpity. Wherever the light may lead, a beast awaits. You shall be king, Traveler. What? You never just see two twins talking in an old man voice uh, in an anime cutscene? <laughs> what? You never seen that combo? Also, combo. If you're gonna if you're gonna comment, what the fuck? You comment it correctly. You comment correctly. You do it correctly. <laughs> With R7 TV. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but as I was saying, I used to have a investment thing for me that built up over years, over the years, because it was a low risk, low reward situation. But then the economy started to look a little rocky and my folks were like, all right, you're an adult now and you're right about the <laughs> stock market being a very um, hit or miss investment. You're fucked. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, my folks were like, yeah, go ahead, take, get a check to... Go ahead and just request to close it and then get all the money that you had invested in there just to have it for yourself. And I'm like, that's fine. That works for me. And... Judging by how the things are going now, I I don't know. I don't follow stock stock market stuff in any capacity. Maybe I should, but but I I just view the stock market as a little too risky. I, I like I understand that's part of the appeal is that you want to is of the high risk high reward factor, but I'm just like go to Vegas for that, man. I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe there is a there is a difference. I can I I should say like I recognize that, but I'm not gonna. I don't see myself if I have the money. I don't see myself using it for stock market. I feel like I could probably use that kind of investment for something a bit more concrete. Does that make sense? Cause it... You're fucked. Holy shit, this thing's tanky. I'm gonna swap to Dan. But yeah, that's that's the that's the thing, because I have some friends that invest in stocks and you know, power to them, you know, if if they're willing to invest in that kind of thing, but with how with how certain billionaires are kinda acting nowadays. With certain bis with certain CEOs and everything and investments going south as much as they have for some, I don't think I really want to risk that. It's just I just don't see it as very worth it worthwhile. Now, obviously, for some, they probably are also in those same low risk, low reward investments like I was, but. You know, for the most part, when you think the stock market, you think of imagery of like 
a bunch of guys in suits running around like chickens with their heads cut off being like, we gotta invest in this next thing or throw $500 into this investment fund. You know, things like that. And I think that's just too much stress. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. That, I think that's the best way I can put it. The stock market looks stressful. <laughs> Like, it looks like a headache, and it looks like it can be very stressful, so I just, I just would rather, I would rather gamble my, my prospects on, um, I don't know, finding a sponsorship for my streams, if that ever happens. Like, if I, if I big, get big enough to ever have a sponsorship, that'll be the, that would be the one risk thing I'd want to go with. Also, so this is... yeah. Okay, so this is the only way forward. Because, yeah, like, even even looking for sponsors uh, for streams and videos stuff is a risk, too. As I had recently learned from, uh, from a streamer that I watch. Where you know the you know the sponsorship joke that people usually make with YouTubers being like, "Oh, I'm sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends," you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, they are very prolific as far as making sure people are aware of them being a prospecting sponsor. But here's the thing: um, apparently, they don't really pay out very much for some versus others. Like, they do give a payout, but apparently their payouts can be very hit or miss depending on the streamer's own wants for how much they can get. Like, so fun thing about my streams, I use stream elements for my, um, for my platform stuff. It's how I have my alert box set up. It's how I have a lot of my stream stuff set up. It's how my tip page works. I just have all of this set up through stream elements. Used to be Streamlabs, but Streamlabs pulled that stupid shit with OBS a while back, so I swapped to Stream Elements. Long story short, I just have Stream Elements. Um, so what happened was, or, or what happens sometimes, is that I get notified, I think by, I get notified on my email through Stream Elements that, hey, you've got a sponsorship, uh, you've got a possible sponsorship lined up. You're... Uh, someone's interested in, in sponsoring you or something like that and I get that notification and it shows me the company that wants to sponsor and I have gotten Raid Shadow Legends before <laughs> now the thing is the thing is though is that I never take it <laughs> Because one, I want to be cautious about who I get spo have a sponsorship with if I ever get one, and two, as I said, that it, it seemed apparent to me from what I learned that Raid Shadow Legends apparently is not that um, good as a company and has actually screwed over people in terms of their payout. So yeah, strange flame indeed. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not saying never, never say ne- I'm not saying never on the sponsorships. Fuck no. If I, if I could get a sponsorship for something that I'm more invested into myself, then you bet your ass I would take it. Like, the thing is, Smith bro, the thing is that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's just... And then there's like certain sponsorship levels I'd seen where it was just so cartoonishly apparent how how much they made it one how much master we're in a tight spot. Yes, we're in a tight spot, master. Master, why are you talking about Twitch sponsorships? <laughs> hello, hello Dallas. We're in the we're in the middle of talking about sponsorships and and why despite hearing from stream elements being like, hey, uh, 
uh, we've got a sponsorship possibly lined up for you. I don't normally take it because it's stuff I don't want to do. Also, this... That's a cool... That's, that's a background. That's a desktop background. I'm sure you'd be happy to see that painting. Yeah, he would be. Master, they captured my countenance very well. This is great. This is very great. Hey, sure enough, here he is. Master, this is it. Look at what I found. I beat out a hairy-chested mold, hairy-chested model for a job as a s wait. Beat out. I like fought him. It was Aru. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it. All right. Would you accept sponsorship from Iwazaru? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you kidding me? If Iwazaru sponsored me, I would 100% I would take that. Okay, so... But yeah, I was essentially saying, like, the offer that I had gotten from the Raid Shadow Legends thing when I was shown it, like, I didn't act on it or anything. It, it really was just, here's the notification of Raid Shadow Legends showing interest. Here's how much they would pay you. Uh, like, here's how much money you'd get for each viewer uh, signing up to use Raid Shadow Legends. And it was like $700, which I understand can be... Like, I admit, that sounds nice, except the problem is, if I were living by myself, I would say no... And even now, I also would say no, because I don't give two shits about Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> the reward for the sponsorship is a choice of the Smith Gun replica. Dude, are you kidding me? I would... I would shit myself if... If Suda51 sponsored... Like, if a Killer7 remake were ever done, and it was like, hey, we're sponsoring you, and you get... And our gift to you is going to be a replica of one of the guns of the Smith characters, I would fucking shit myself. I would shit myself so hard. Like, that, that would make me the happiest goddamn human being ever. All right, I'm gonna swap to which gun? Dan's. I'd pick Dan's. E well, actually, no, Dan. I've already got something similar to Dan's. Um. I don't know, probably either Coyotes or Mask. No. I don't know, they're all really good. I think... Let me take a look. Kevin's the only... Kevin's an outlier because he uses knives. I would say Mask or Kayede. Probably Mask, though. I, I... Yeah. Yeah, probably Mask. Not to disparage um, any of the other smiths in terms of their guns, it's just, it's Masked the Smith. How do you, you can't, you cannot possibly. Free lifting weights? Oh god, yeah. Like, I don't know how much those things probably weigh, but they'd probably be like good five pounders. Wasn't there, okay, there wasn't another thing. But yeah, the sponsorship stuff, like, if I were to ever get sponsored by something, ideally I'd want it to be, to be something that I really like and would want to relate to. Um, but there's also a caveat to that where I'd have to adhere to the sponsor's rules, which is typically what you do with a sponsor. So I don't know the full deal about how sponsorships work because I'm not... I never get any. I don't, I, I've not been a, a sponsor or have been sponsored, so I don't know uh, entirely, but this is how I guess it goes. Sponsorship contacts you and you agree to their, you agree to be sponsored and then they say, okay, we're going to sponsor you. Uh, just mention us within the first minute or probably... Mention us for a solid minute or so, two minutes of your of your next video if you're a YouTuber, and 
uh, we and then when you're finished filming your segment that sponsor that shows our product, we give our approval for it and then you approve the video. I don't know how exactly the payment stuff works out with that. I it wouldn't would it be by Okay, so I don't know how the payment would work out that way. Like, I don't know how payment of sponsorships to streamers or YouTubers works. But that's at least how I think the transaction process goes. For streamers, uh, I imagine the sponsorship goes, Hey, we send you a code of our thing, and you have it be... You pretty much say that you're sponsored, uh, and then play the game however you want, and just make sure it's known that we are sponsoring you. But it's that second rule that gets it sometimes, because I remember um, watching a streamer play... I think it was that Trials of Mana remake. And... Uh, the I think it was Vine Sauce actually. And, Vine and he said essentially, yeah, I, received a I was receiving a code from Square Enix, but I was already going to plan on buying the game. And but I was like, oh, cool, free code. But the conditions of the sponsorship was that he had to stop like every 10, 20 minutes or something and mention to thank Square Enix for the sponsorship. And it's like, I, no one wants to do that. <laughs> Some are probably more tolerant about doing that than others, but that's a, that sounds kind of like, that sounds a little too radio, if you get my drift. So, yeah, if I were to ever find sponsorships to do, I, I would probably need to keep an eye out as to how they want me to go about it. Yeah, it's rewind time. All right, what is this object? It is odd engraving. But yeah, like, in some ways also, sponsorships feel simple feel like a similar slap to the wrist as um, as like some shit that I've seen with part-time work. Like uh, my when I worked at a pizza place in, in my area, I remember one of the, I remember the manager going into the employee group chat and saying, hey, I need someone to stay with me for X day, for X amount of days. If you do this, you'll get one free pizza of your choice to have for, for lunch or take home with you. And I'm re and upon looking back on that, I'm like, wow, that's stupid. It's like sim it's about as disingenuous as that dude who worked at at the same Burger King for 20 years, and he was given like a birthday goodie bag as a thank you, and it's like, fuck off. <laughs> it's like, fuck off with that. Like, did they seriously think that's the proper compensation? No pizza's not enough unless, yeah. Like, um, like. The thing is, is that that place's pizza is not even that good, so... Yeah. It just... You want to properly... like Again, that, that just leads more into the whole companies not really wanting or desiring to make sure their employees are properly compensated. Some... Like that article that said, Oh no, it's not wages that keep employees, it's pizza parties. And I'm like... And I just roll my eyes at that. Roll my eyes and drink a beer. Hey, Curtis. Hey, Sean Connery. Old dogs should keep their mouths shut. I'll keep this short. The day I was... The day I was killed by you. My long-awaited wish was granted. Those so-called heroes are fakes. Don't be fooled by their trickery. You're being shucked in by fantasy. A world of illusion bred by a madman. Hell, what'd you expect from a comic book hero? See you in hell. See you in hell. Message from Sean Connery. Does tra doesn't Travis fight Power Rangers too? I would say these guys are more superheroes, I guess, from a group. But I think... I think tra the closest thing I'd say is probably the football guy from No More Heroes 2 or Destroy Man. 
if we're talking more on the Sentai stuff instead of Power Rangers. I found out that Sean Connery was eight years younger than I am now when he filmed Diamonds Are Forever. Yeah, he, he's got a long legacy. Or he had a, well, his legacy is long. He has a very long legacy. Hegacy? Heg uh, what is? Hegacy. Wow, what is with the word vomit today? God damn it, that's fast. I was 40, looked 60. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Part of the reason why I have a revelation, or resolution, rather, for this year is, um... My, one of my New Year's resolutions is that I want to attempt to try and grow a beard. And part of the reason for it is because he was 40. Okay, I can't write. Oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, speaking of uh, looking different for your age, um... I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I have a New Year's resolution that I want to grow a beard. Part of the reason is I want to see if I can finally actually look my age. Because, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if, I don't know how I sound versus how I actually am in terms of age, but I'm 26. <laughs> and I have been told by multiple people, whilst I'm either clean shaven or have some stubble, that I look like in my early 20s versus my late, my mid 20s. So, I wanna see, so I wanna see if I actually get different comments depending on how, uh, on how my beard grows. Gotta say though, this is, gotta say though, attempting to grow a beard up right now is kind of a pain in the ass, like I, Like, growing a beard, I gotta say right now, is kind of annoying. Like, it's just, it's just uncomfortable in certain areas. But I guess I'll get used to it. A lot of people think I'm younger than I actually am. Yeah, like, look, I found today's windmills are standing still. A day of calm. A day of despair. If only we had that ring. Well, I have it. I was ID'd for when buying liquor, I was 42. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been carded a lot um, when I'm in America, but when I went on my trip to Sweden, I was not carded once. Ever. Because the drinking, because the age to go to bars and have drinks is 18. Or the drinking age is 18 there. So I know at the very least, I look like I'm over 18. 18 or so, which is good. It's just, thanks to the thanks to the age in America being 21, yeah. So hopefully I have expressed my annoyance with with how it's like, you know, oh how complimentary, you know, you're you're, people think you're younger than you actually are. No, there's problems with that. <laughs> I had gray in my hair. For you, Dallas, I want to guess that maybe the clerk that was checking you out was new to the job and was just, uh, and just didn't know. No, I I don't want to permit that term combo. I, I don't want to permit that term. Sorry. Just for future reference, that, that term I don't want to permit here. Um, I, I don't want to permit that term, but no, Dallas, what I think it is, is that maybe the clerk was new to the job and didn't, uh, didn't know, uh, or was just doing it to satisfy the management, if that makes sense. So, like, I mean, I did it all the time. Like, I did it for, for other things, but... Yeah, getting ID being ID'd is annoying though. He was old though. Hmm. I'm gonna just guess that it was just habit. 
Because, I mean, people get ID... Like, in my town, a lot of people get uh, lottery stuff. And, you know, you need to do ID to... You either need to ID... Uh, you either need to show your ID or say how, like, your date and year of birth and everything. So, yeah. I mean, when you're old, people look younger than you might... Yeah. I don't know. I don't see being carded as a super, super bad convenience or anything. Just, just roll your eyes and do it. That's really it. Matching the requested colors at the open doors, at the door opens. It'll be a cinch if you just collect all the color samples. I heard the art artist has some soft spot for comic lovers. If you knew the assignment of the handsome colors, you have a nice shot at getting invited to dinner. If you're gonna kill him, you'll do this some stealing. But yeah, I guess probably the person being older was just doing their thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really uh, the foremost authority about that kind of thing. Okay, so is, is, is this the... Yes, it is. Okay, I need the wind ring for this. I didn't see him. What did you do in Sweden? Uh, did a lot of exploring. Um, had a lot of fun just getting to hang out with my dad. Uh, had, had some... God, I I mentioned this in a prior stream, but uh, one of the things that made me both sad and aggravated at the same time was when I had just woken up out of a jet lag induced sleep and uh, my dad had apparently gotten some pastries from 7-Eleven for me to have whenever I did. Your dad is Swedish? No, but no, 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 no. Uh, we're both... No, both of us are very American. We went because, one, I finally wanted to go overseas. I wanted to go overseas. And two, because uh, ancestors of ours came over from Sweden back in 1900. So it was just a dual, like, hey, let, let's go to Sweden because overseas fun, but also let's check out the spot where one of our relatives came from years ago. So, yeah, it was that kind of situation. Um, but one of the things in Sweden that immediately impressed me, but also made me mad at American stuff was how these pastries I had in the morning, I bit into one and it was, it was apparent how much better it was versus American bakeries. Like, I, like the, the, the bakery in my town w could not match a 7-Eleven pastry. And I was so... Upon upon that revelation, I was like, wow, I'm impressed that a 7-Eleven pastry can be this good, but god damn it, America needs to step up. Like, after having as many bread and flour products in Sweden as I did, I totally understand what people mean when they say, yeah, or, or I understand where Europeans are like, oh no, American bread is not bread. Like, I'm, I'm like that gif of Danny DeVito, or that small, that short video of Danny DeVito in the theater, and he's going, Oh my god, I get it. I, that, yeah, that was, that was the deal. That was it. I, I just, I, throughout each pastry I had, or flour product, I was like, oh boy. I was like, damn it, if this is the bar that's set, I don't... The bar started... The bar started decently enough, and then it just got higher and higher as as I went on with the trip. And that just ended up being indicative of all of the food I had. Alright, uh, so... We're going this way.
I think that white background is getting Yeah, it's the white background. It's messing with the transparency of the of the heaven smiles. That's what's getting me. Like I'm I normally I'd be able to see them just fine, but the stark white background's kind of tripping me up. Okay, so we're here. Save room is there. And then a lot of American foods are much better than Europe European foods, though. When I came to America, I was viewing hamburgers and milkshakes as junk food. But at some, but some places in the U.S., they have elevated milkshakes to a work of art. Yeah, and then you've got weirdos that, well, I don't know. Maybe I should knock it till I've had it, but um, some people tend to do a little food mixing in the U.S. And one example that people tend to point out as an odd one is dipping your french fries in milkshakes which i'm not going to i'm not going to knock it cuz i haven't tried it myself but some see that and they're like wow that's weird but yeah i like I get that. It's a it's a apples to oranges kind of thing when it comes to what people tend to like in certain foods. But I'm of the opinion I'm of the opinion that a lot of what I had in in Sweden I found to be a lot if not m entirely better than what I had in the US. Like, I've had, I had some of the best, I had the best pizza I ever had in Sweden. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because of the tourism blindness, you know, like, oh, you only liked it because it was a different country, or, or what have you, but, I don't know, man, some of the stuff I had there was really good. If anything, I'd probably say the more standard thing I had was the coffee, which, I would say it was a good seven to eight out of 10 coffee compared to the stuff that I've got at my house. Cause I actually get my coffee shipped to my house uh, via a coffee service. So we get a lot of good stuff that usually comes in monthly. So when I have this coffee from Sweden uh, or, or when I had coffee in Sweden, it was just like, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice coffee, but it pairs beautifully with the pastries. Some of the stuff I still find weird, like floaties and ice cream in the soda that you get at Sonic. If I'd put ice cream in my soda as a kid, I would have gotten smacked. Yeah, the floats, the Coke floats. I, um... Yeah, Coke floats are an interesting one. I... I never really... I think I only had one of those once. Like, they're super sugary, so... Probably once is enough, but... I don't know. I, I, the food combinations you end up seeing sometimes in the U.S. can really make you scratch your head. Like, I'm trying to think of any specific examples I, I had. All right, this was the. I just went backwards. Yeah, I, I never. Yeah, I think I only had a Coke float once, and it was for, like, a school... Because it was a school thing. And it somehow destroys both the ice cream and the soda. Yeah, that's the other thing, is, like... How... How willing are you to want to... You know, eat something quick while both our things are still good? Because that's it. It's like... Because that's the major issue you run into with a with a ice with an ice cream soda float is that you have it and it's good, but you can't. But it's not something you really chip away at slowly as you're having the rest of your meal. You got to scarf it while both are still not meld. It's like um, it's like having water in a mixed drink. You know, like you don't want your drink to get watered down. You don't want your drink to get ice creamified. Don't make me think. Wait here. Shit. Um, let's actually level Kaede up a little bit. Give you a speed boost. 
uh, give you something. All right. So yeah, we got all the color values from the from the handsome men. So now we're good. <laughs> if anything, I guess a, I did have a makeshift habit, as it were, when it came to certain food combinations. For any Americans uh, familiar with Wednesday, with uh, Wednesday chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy day. One uh, one favorite that I did, and I know a lot of other people apparently did too, was um, they would take. Uh... Oh wait, cutscene. I'll explain more in a minute after this. It's Dan Smith, the man. Yo, how's it going with next week's story, huh? Whoa, this is unbelievable. You really came? I didn't think I had such power. You're one lucky guy, you know that? Let me ask you, what happens to your prophecy if I shoot you right now? Oh, I already wrote it. I wrote the story, so you'll die. Hey, it's almost time for their appearance. The appearance of heroes. You better watch out. These handsome men are tough. Trust me, I know. Because I wrote them. Kill Dan! Give him the old handsome wink stuff! What? Heaven's door killed Dan. I. Oh my. Wait! Wait! It is essentially like Kishibe Rohan. Oh my god! You think you guys can kill me? I didn't know Killer 7 had a sense of humor. It's showdown, Dan Smith. I kind of realize what this is reminding me a bit of. It's kind of like an Osamu Tezuka thing. We are the Punishing Rangers, the handsome men! Sorry, but your stupid series ends today. I'll finish you all at once if that's more convenient. Fine. Let's settle this. I'm loving this. Seven versus seven. Fair and square. The place will be Broadway. New York at 0400. Wait. I'm not finished with you yet. Talk about characters out of a comic book. This is a weird fucking video game. Osamu Tezuka, how? It's the eyes. A bit of the eyes and kind of the way that characters move like it feels I I don't know there's just something about that art style that's maybe not no not Tezuka if it's Tezuka that I'm reminded of I guess probably his work on Blackjack would be the equivalent that I'd think of like because of the of the Tezuka works that I've seen I think Blackjack is probably his least caricatured as far as the art style goes. So that's why I think it's reminding me of that. Uh, but as I was saying, um, what, uh, what people would do, and I guess I would do too, is cut the biscuit you'd get in half, put some mashed potatoes and a bit of the chicken fried steak in there and have like a little biscuit sandwich. That was a very common thing for a lot of people to do because it was very easy to do, very tasty, and it spiced up your meal. The sounds while you're casually talking. Oh no, yeah, you just I mean it's basically just like having a casual casual conversation in Bloodborne. Uh and to answer your question, Dallas, my ancestors came from Sweden, or the one that my dad was researching on came from Sweden to the US around around mid nineteenth no I think the specific year he gave me was nineteen hundred. Uh, cause she came from a mining town that was south of Philipstad. 
kind of scary too. Imagine chilling in your apartment like this and you go dead silent hearing those sounds. I mean, it's no different from hearing a baby on a plane, if I'm being completely honest. All right, let's save. I think it's a mixture of Trigun and, uh, and Tezuka style. I think that's what I'm being reminded of, especially with the gunplay in that cutscene. And I still can't do anything with that door. But yeah, that whole dead silence into immediate screaming situation reminds me of like the meme where it's a bunch of kids just doing their homework in, in school and then you hear in the hallway just someone in the hallway screaming randomly. You ever have that? It just, just a sudden loud noise that makes, makes the whole pin drop silence feel even worse. All right. Here we go. Oh, Icon. They're coming. There's a book series about the Swedish immigrants to the U.S. around that time. Over a million Swedes left for the U.S. I was made a few films on the books. Huh. I might need to ask my dad if he knows about it. Let me admire this animation real quick. Yeah. I'm guessing that was Dan fighting the Rangers since you're the other guy. And they're separate people now. No, I think they're... You know what? I'm not going to question it anymore. There's just too much to, to, there's just too much to, to question. I'm not going to bother. Did you see that? A real handsome pose. Hope you guys are ready. Oh, they are separate. Wait, what? say, to decide where you will die is a gallant act. Fitting for the Killer 7, don't you think? I think that's enough chit-chat. Shall we begin? Who voices Harmon? I've got the ultimate cards matched up. Let's get it on. This is so weird. This is by and large one of the weirdest segments of the... Because I was so convinced it's like, oh no. I can't pause. I was so convinced that it was just like, oh no. Like, it's one person in have... It's like multiple personalities in one person. And they're just visually conveying the differences by having the characters change. But no, apparently they're all separate people. Ugh. First matchup, Harmon Smith versus Handsome Red. Wait, why is he in a wheel? What? I win. Next matchup, Con Smith versus Handsome White Pearl. Okay, I guess I my aim wavered. Our third matchup is Coyote Smith versus Handsome Gold. What is going on? There we go. Fucked. Fourth matchup. Kaede Smith versus Handsome Light Brown. This is such a fucking weird segment. Ah. 
Nope. I missed a few bullets. All right, we're getting a little tight action here. Fifth matchup, Kevin Smith versus Handsome Dead. Dead's not a color. Oh, really? Damn development's hard, hard work. I know how... Damn, development's hard work, I know, but how do they have laser shot beams from their fingers or ranger inspired weapons? I don't know. Yeah. Sixth matchup, Dan Smith versus Handsome Blue. Hajime, Hajime. Oh. I'm supposed to aim for the head, I guess. Or maybe it's because Dan's got max power. Smith versus Handsome Purple. Hajime, Hajime. Okay, so it's four out of seven. Whoa, what? Wait. Mask? What? Okay. Mask gets a transformation. Again. He really seems to be a favorite. And infinite ammo. Am I doing something right here? I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. Doing something. They oh, who's the strongest? Oh, it's scripted. So it was best four out of seven, I think. Final match. Never mind. Garcia and Smith versus Handsome Pink. What? Did you? <laughs> okay, that's a power move. Just starts gun match, immediately explodes. Her world of games and the real world coexist as one. Four books, The Emigrants, Unto a Good Land, The Settlers, and The Last Letter Home. Author Wilhelm Moberg. Recommended to Dad if you're interested. Because I write the film features Max von si Sido. Here's the thing. I'm okay. I'll I'll give him the recommended because he's he's really into looking up our ancestry lately. So I'll give him a I'll tell him about those. Thanks for telling me, Dallas. I appreciate it. I'll make him pay for Trevor's death. Can you really do it? I'll make sure justice is done. But in my book, though. You be sure to check it out in next week's issue. Okay, so now she's I'm really glad we met, Mr. Killer Garcia. The pleasure's all mine. Love, your passion is inspiring to us all. Thank you. 
I'll be watching you, mister. Why does that girl's voice sound familiar? This is a, this is, what? <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, f what? What? All right, level beat. And I, I okay. Cool. <laughs> that was a short level. Shorter than the last ones I, what, what the fuck just happened? That was such a, w yeah, mask just now. What? <laughs> Unmask your heart, then show us your smile. Okay. All right. <laughs> Continue to smile. Like the Twitch emote? All right. Fuck me. That was... something. What the fuck, man? All right. I guess we'll get a small head start into this level, and then I'll uh, end it about 30 minutes or so. I usually tend to go a little shorter with my Killer7 streams because I don't want to uh, blow through this game too quickly. I want to take my time and savor it. What? I... You know what? I'm done trying. <laughs> I'm done trying now. I'm done trying to logic this now. We had a we had a, like a we had a full on showdown with with Power Rangers and suddenly that it's art yeah fuck it <laughs> I'm I'm done trying now there's no there's no point to trying to figure this out anymore Like, suddenly the personalities were all split apart as actual people, but now they... And now they're probably back all together. Basically, my brain just goes like this. That's my brain trying to make sense of everything. Cool seeing them apart. It was cool, and seeing them in their anime style was really neat. Just... Damn it, I... Damn it, I just... Damn it, I just wish I knew the logic. Oh, hello. You okay there? You a little blitzed? You party too hard? Is she... Is she dead? Forbidden room. What? Hey, it's the Friday guy. Check. What a coincidence. Check. This time, the game is mine. Can you can you have two checks in a chess game? I don't know. I don't know chess. Do you want to hear a story, Harmon? Why not? There once was a young man who had a promising future. The center back position. Is that the severed head we kept seeing? No, 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 no. Different person. Any play was a fair play. No one blew the whistle on him. Everybody loved him. Not to mention his campus sweetheart. Oh, she was something. They were the perfect couple. He graduated from Columbia with an MBA. His opportunity was infinite. He could do whatever he wanted with his life. But was he satisfied? No. Every night he would cry, begging the Lord. 
Susie. Uh, is that the name of the attendant there? That was that was a little too zone. Was that the lady in the chair or the lady with the severed or the severed head lady? I think that's the severed head lady. As if the spirit of Jack the Ripper okay, it's head lady. Head lady. Okay. Stabbed and stabbed until you couldn't tell who she was. You know what I think? An angel whispered into his ear. The angel gave him the extra courage he needed to give her the divine retribution she deserved. Samantha is the save room lady. Sure okay. She wasn't the hell's angel. I'm pretty sure she only had good intentions. You really are a villain. I had nothing to do with it, but I must admit, my memory has become a bit misty these days. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why did why did Harmon suddenly freak out? We tripping hard. I I guess the <laughs> Garcian. These edibles ain't shit. This this game. I've never seen a game break my mind faster and more. Just each each chapter has been weirder and been weirder and weirder and that was just like what 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 uh fucking uh the remnant parties have started making them move i felt the disturbance in the air what's gonna happen yeah you know something's wrong when the cool-headed characters freak out yeah yeah it's hard to predict the kind of terror well, it was just... panel engineer <laughs> Harmon reacted the same way as when a parent walks in on a teenager on a on a dubious website. The best thing about this game that it's so relatable. Oh yeah, you ever been so relatable to enter the forbidden room of your trailer park house and then suddenly you see the main villain, I assume, and your boss just playing chess and then you walk in and they go, ha 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 now he's the leader of 10 million secret japanese members that are scattered around the world he is a major force 10 million what do you think i mean i'm i'm not uh, maybe i'll find the relatability but so far i've just been fighting power rangers and 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 ladies with smgs in in anime masks i'm because everyone's gonna i'm feeling i'm not really feeling the reality at this time the master has disappeared Oh. Yeah, Garcy. About that. Uh, look, I need to tell you something real important. Hold on. Go ahead. Lay it on. Let's see. How should I? Um... Okay. Thirty years ago, you and Harmon. <laughs> oh shit! No, my contact. Everyday things like hanging from the ceiling in, in the suit, finding decapitated heads in your dryer, and hearing those familiar sounds from the other side of that steel cellar door. I don't know what kind of house you've got. It's probably the reason why Garcian's rent is cheap. Okay, so somebody just iced our contact. Okay, so someone's hunting after after the Smiths. And it's probably that secret organization that it was uh, being divulged on. Crusade at y Hotel Union. Okay. Welcome to the Union, sir. How many nights will you be staying with us? Actually, I'm meeting someone. 
Oh, Mr. Smith. We've been expecting you. The top floor. Please use the elevator in the back. All right. Am I approaching the finale? I have no idea. I remember all the faces of our guests. Even your bag, sir. Would make sense if reality became more confusing near the final boss approach. I guess so. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> All right, reception. Please tell me there's a harm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So Garcian's kind of caught with his pants down here. Harmon room. I was like, there better. Be. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there better be. <gasps> oh, steward. Hello. Kind of looks like he'd be a. Um, kind of looks like he'd be a. Uh, like a. Alt version of. Uh, of uh, Alfred from Batman. All right, I'm gonna get a person out here. Don't make me think. Maybe. I've changed my makeup. Ooh, Maybe. black dress. I've changed my makeup. Okay. Later. I'm not oh, all this. It's only a mask. Giver. That's what I'm being reminded of. Looking at mask. Um, he looks like Giver, with his new with his new upgrade. Uh, if you don't know Giver, it's like an older series. Uh, see if I can find a picture of it, actually. Giver. Not the live-action movie. The anime. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's gonna be a WebP file. No, I need to find PNG. Not Matt Giver, either. No. No. Uh... Save image. Okay, so I think this was from the 80s and it was really popular and I know it for the 2000s anime, but I know, but it was done way, 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 way back in the day. Uh, let me find it for you all to show you why I say, where is it? There it is. This, look at the side by side here. Actually, let me bring him out for the side-by-side. -side, for a better side-by-side. -side. Uh, so, like... If you look at... The very bio-weapon kind of look for him, he just kind of reminds me of it a lot. So, yeah. Older show, but, uh... Beloved, I, I remember hearing from other people. So. But I'm not bringing Mask out for this. I'm going to put... Maybe. I've changed my makeup. Okay. Kaede, my makeup. Kaede was needed for something, so I'm going so to pick her. An emote of Kaede running? Wow. All right, I need to go back into Harmon room. I, I got disoriented. Hold on. All right, let's back up. K-9 
can't see shit, Captain. There we go. I have to imagine cosplaying as Kaede would get awkward because of the barefoot situation. I mean, you probably wear tennis shoes up until someone asks you for a picture, or maybe sandals. Okay, so said top floor, but I want to see what else is around. I want to. I want to explore. Shit! Wait! No! There was a thing back. Oh man, I hate to leave this music, but I forgot there was a thing in the first floor that I could do with Kaede. Also, this music. Oh, not as weird as cosplaying as Susie. Yeah, I met, yeah. Okay, so it was the reception desk. I see. Okay, yeah, I see it. I'm a ghost. Here we go. Yeah, I need to gather as many of these as I can throughout the level. I probably would... Would it be too much to think that maybe the game would want me to go through all of the floors before the final one? Because of the soul shell requirement stuff that I need to go through? I imagine that might be the case. Whoa, how'd you do that? Where's the rest of your body? Yeah, it... If there were a... Co if you were cosplaying as a decapitated... As a person that was a decapitated head, I imagine it'd be one of those, one of those things where... You probably have a model of the head in your hands and you're just in a cat suit that because it's like, oh, I'm dressed in an all black cat suit and I'm holding the head because the head is the character. I imagine that may be the idea that some people would do if they were cosplaying as Mimir from the recent God of War games or something <laughs> and not not with Kratos, just Mimir. Master, it's dark. The, pro the prospects are very dark. I feel a dull tide of despair. This is sure to mean something. My old institution intuition speaks to me. You are uh, surrounded by various traps. Perhaps this has gone far enough. Any more of this and you'll take years off your life. Leave this to the Helion. In the name of Harmon, the Halion. So that's Dan. So I'm gonna break Dan out. Right? I believe that's the case. I believe the Halion is... Yep, it is. I don't know if conversations allow rolling props, but a sm conventions allow rolling props, but a small table illusion. In my experience... <sighs> See, I don't know, because... It really, sometimes it really can depend on the, um, it really can depend on the convention as far as the, what they can and cannot allow. Like, for the most part, when it comes to the weapons rules for cons I went to, so long as your weapons weren't metal, you were okay, or at the very least, could prove to be deadly. Because, because fu funny enough, the first time I ever went to an anime convention, I was dressed as Roxas from Kingdom Hearts 2, because at the time, I was still super obsessed with Kingdom Hearts. And uh, I had a metal keyblade that I gave away to somebody. And when I brought it to the convention, I was like, all right, cool, I'm good on that. 
and then the the weapon persons told me like no it's it's pretty heavy and made of metal i think that's not allowed so yeah That's tend. To, that's also why a lot of um, prop makers tend to make their stuff out of foam, because foam, at the very least, can look close enough to the real thing if you want to do a cosplay, but not super real to where people just go like, "Is that a real blank?" You know, plastic. Plastic also is is a is a uh, alternative you could use. Again, I really wish I had some kind of you are here indicator. PVC is helpful for that. PVC could work too. <laughs> there are a lot of there are a lot of uh I thought that was a crack in the door. Oops. If you're trying to make a Keyblade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, one of the recent uh, trends for a lot of prop makers or cosplay helpers is uh, foam, actually. Well, not foam. I shouldn't say foam. 3D printing. Like, using 3D printing has become a very viable thing for a lot of people that make props because it's like, oh... You just make the set, you get a model, and you make the segments, and then after you make the segments, then uh, you just put it together and then boom, you're good. Just don't jostle it around too much and it won't break. <laughs> in fact, uh, in fact, I've got a friend who's really into wanting to use his 3D printer. And I, I remember sending him a shit ton of Etsy links about like, hey man, here's where, here's a cool file for a thing I saw, or here's a, here's a thing I saw on 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 a store where it's like buy the file and then and then you get to make it in your own 3D printer, because that's a lot cheaper. Well, <laughs> if you have your own 3D printer, it's cheaper to just go ahead and. Uh, buy a file from someone and then use the 3D printing uh, that you have instead of just having the person having a different having someone 3D print it themselves I, I don't know point is 3D printing is kind of the, the the movement of cosplay as it were right now <laughs> who's needed in this room Nobody. Well, I don't need any powers. There we go. Got another Harmon's room. Kind of a lot of blood for this. But yeah, I have no references for how long this game actually is. So if I'm near the end, then then yeah, probably good I stop in about five-ish minutes. What's in the bathroom? Keep your hands off. Oh yeah, out of the bathtub. That that's a bad. That's a that's a yeah. Master, it's dark. I'm in a tailspin of confusion. It's also transparent. It is. The climax is where the scenes of the dead come in. They walk the construction site without reason. They utter they utter sweet nothings about re without reason. Their smiles shine without reason. 
It's all a trap. A trap that leads to death. I can see through it all. I'm keenly attuned to the omens of death. And this place is trouble. Behold this light. They thirst for blood. They thirst for meat. We are perfectly ready to return home. Please cut the cord. In the name of Harmon. I'm gonna operate under the assumption by cut the cord, they mean literally, which means... Kevin. Right? Yup. Sure enough. I was correct. All right, let's swap back to Dan. <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> oh god, imagine trying to cosplay as one of the Heaven Smiles. If anything, probably cosplaying as the Heaven Smile would be something you add to a Killer7 cosplay. <laughs> but... How many people do you think would get a Killer7 co cosplay nowadays? Like, with the game remastered and on PC, surely it's got at least a gro like a much larger audience compared to when it first came out, most likely, and even the years after. But... <laughs> Maybe, maybe if someone cosplayed as Mask, but... Huh. Not many? Yeah, I wouldn't picture that many people to see, like, a cosplay of Dan Smith and be like, Oh man, you're Dan Smith! Again, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the most recognizable characters in this game are Garcian, Mask, and <laughs> probably Harmon. Or maybe the, uh... The, the guy with the, the the turquoise coat, because he's the after all it's Friday guy. So maybe that would be recognizable. But again, that's that's the deal about cosplaying lesser known games is that yeah, you get a it's like yeah, you're getting to cosplay a game, but part of the fun with cosplaying is is when other people recognize you and get to see you walk around. Master, it's dark. Much too dark. I can't take it. They were shot here, too. Six were killed. This pretends an ill fate. I see the, rem the remnant spirits. Their faces gradually rise up. Leave it to the mask. In the name of Harmon. Okay, so I need to bring Mask out. So yeah, it's, it feels weird to have all the Smiths available. And and again, for some reason, Mask just gets an upgrade in the form of looking like a looking like the Giver. All right. I don't know when the, my, my next uh, save point is because. There has not been a single save point since the f <laughs> since the first floor, actually. Holy shit, they're infinite! All right. Well, that was a lot of enemies. Uh, am I heading in the right way?
<laughs> what is this room? Was I just... Whoa, what? Oh, hello. Bloody Psychopaths, Killer 7. This place marks your grave. Don't be scared. Killer 7 committed a crime here. Six people died. Is that not the work of the devil? We couldn't defeat them. There is no justice here. Only the purity of atrocity. The voyage of the Killer 7 begins. Okay, this really feels finale-like. I think I may be on the last level. <laughs> if that's the case... I have no... I have no idea if I am on the last level or not. I mean, with the amount of enemies that's being thrown at me, maybe this is the case. Yeah, I have no idea if this is the last level or not. <laughs> Please, let me get to the elevator. All right. Uh, I'm on... I'm going to double check the name of this and how far along we are cuz if this is the final level I want to be a fighter I want to be a fighter jet yeah No one in the lobby good Yeah I'm going to check on like I understand it's kind of bad etiquette, I guess, to look up how much more of a game I've got left before I'm before I'm wrapped up with it, but I'd like to... I, I don't know, this feels very finale-like, so I'd like to know that. So about 13 and a half hours to beat Killer7. I've been on this for a little bit. Wouldn't know if I'd say 13 hours. All right, and the level I'm on is... Smile. Gameplay, no. How many chapters? Okay, so seven chapters and... But I wish I just, wait. So Smile is... No, that's not what I'm looking for. I just want to know how many chapters. Because I'm, I'm, okay. I'm on the second to last chapter. All right. Good to know. That's, that's literally all I needed to know. That's it. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't know. I may make uh, the next stream I do of this the finale. Because if I'm, because if I'm on the second to last chapter, this, um, the next stream of this may be the finale. So, yeah. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Because uh, I, I, like I like to take my time with this game. So, yeah.
With that said, thank you all for joining me on this one. This was a very interesting one. Uh, didn't expect to be fighting Power Rangers, but I guess that's just the magic of this game, huh? Uh, so, with yeah, hopefully the rest of you take care of yourselves. Um, thanks for, I guess, wa thanks for watching and I guess letting me talk about uh, Ancestor stuff, which was interesting. And yeah, I'll just hope to see you all in the next stream. In the, na in the name of Harmon, yeah, indeed. So take care of yourselves, people. Uh, next stream, I'm not sure if it will be the finale of this. If, if so, it may be in a bit of a longer Killer7 stream, which honestly, I wouldn't really mind. So yeah, we'll just kind of see where that stream takes us. So I'll let you all know about it, uh, about the plans going forward. So yeah, take care of yourselves, people, and I'll see you in the next stream. Bye.